This week, we're going to be covering how to uh, use AJAX and JSON. And this is in preparation for uh, what we're going to do next week, which is uh, working with some APIs. So you're going to read the chapter in the book, and then you're going to go through uh, the key concepts. And for this, we cover XML and JSON both, and then we use AJAX to dynamically update your page. So you are going to learn how to create both types of files uh, and how to process them using JavaScript and jQuery. And again, the reason we go through this is because we are going to get into interfacing with APIs and the data that they provide is typically a JSON file, although you may find some in XML. So we basically start uh, by covering AJAX and what that is. It's asynchronous JavaScript. And then we get into XML. And finally, we get into JSON. There are videos on all of the sections in this lecture demo. And then as you go through the lecture demo, you'll notice there's a lot of examples. Anytime you are confused about anything, please go up and watch the video because the video is going to go through this and explain it. Okay, it's just so it's like a live lecture. <laughs> so um, as you're reading through here, if you're like, uh, I'm a little fuzzy on this, please go watch the video. That is what they are there for. For the programming assignment, you're going to be creating your own XML file. And then you're going to create an AJAX file that reads it and displays the content. And I do have an example for you to look at. This is an example that was provided in the lecture demo. Then you're going to create a JSON file. And you're going to create an AJAX file that reads that and uh, updates a page with that content. And then finally, you're going to create a page with buttons that loads other pages. Several examples in the lecture demo. Uh, the pages that you load uh, could be XML, could be JSON, or they could simply be other web pages. It's your choice, but you do need three buttons. Okay, uh, one of the examples only has two buttons. You need three. Okay, so keep that in mind when you are doing the assignment. Once you're done with the assignment, there is a short quiz. There's only 25 questions, uh, but the questions are similar to what you are going to see on the IT specialist exam. Again, you should be working on milestone one for the term project. Uh, that is not due this week, it's due the following week. The first milestone, uh, you don't have to have any games completed. You just have to have your HTML5 CSS interface completed. And you have to have buttons and kind of space holders for each of the games. You will also need to prepare that showcase. So that is coming up, not due quite yet. But if you have time, you definitely are going to want to start working on that. If you run into problems or have questions, let me know. Keep in mind that uh, XML and JSON are case sensitive. The problems that students have had reading their files is that they have not paid attention to case sensitivity. Okay, so that's the major issue that I have seen. Have a great week and let me know if you have any questions.